Hey guys, it's Cherry. Uh, something amazing just dropped, and it's here in the announcements for the North America Yuzu Smash Discord. It's a matchmaking uh, project called Yuzult, and it's a client that's designed to help people play Yuzu easier. And you can see a person's ping, their region, and FPS at which the game is running. And it honestly might be the future for Yuzu. This isn't entirely the same as like a Slippy or like a Dolphin Netplay system where you connect with a person uh, over maybe a Discord server, you set your input delay. This automatically does it for anybody else that has this this uh, program. It doesn't seem to be a beta, but it does seem to be something that has uh, the potential for updates in the future as well as the fact that because it's automatically searching, you're going to find anybody else with this client. And for me, this is something that I've wanted for ages because I really don't want to have to go in a Discord server and like have to hear all these other pings, as well as have to interact with somebody when I could very much just play like anonymously without talk, you know? Whether that's through quick play, whether that's through just going to a local and just being, like, found by somebody and wanting to play on a setup or going in bracket or whatever. And for those who can't do that, whether it's because of COVID, whether it's because of lack of bracket, and you don't want to play online, you have the ability to do uh, Yuzu stuff, this is something you're going to want to invest in. So to get this, click on the link. It'll take you to GitHub. You'll get the setup. Save it. For me, I'm gonna come down here, put it in my Nintendo Switch, save. It'll probably say that this could harm your device. You can keep it. It is not in any way, shape, or form malware. This is something that just happens on Windows because it's trying to protect your computer. It'll say it's protecting your, your PC. Just do more info and run anyway because it's just a set exe that the, the uh, Windows operating system doesn't understand and doesn't know about. It'll set up, and it'll open up, and then you can enter your username. And so for me, my username will be Cherry, if that's allowed. My Parsec ID. So now, you have to go, you have to click on this, and I gotta find Parsec. <laughs> Alright, give me one second while I log in. Okay. I'm back, and let's just type in my Parsec ID. Cherry. Oh, I don't need that, I guess. Four. Hashtag four. Three, one, zero. Seven, seven, seven. And then I think it does require Cherry in front of it. So you put that in, and select your game path, and then skip this if you only want to be a client. And so what I'll do... That's not what I want to do. I don't know what just what I just did, but I think it's what it's doing is it wants you to find your um, Smash Ultimate um, thing. So for me, that's somewhere in here. Uh... Actually, I don't even remember. Let me, let me look it up, because I can just open my Yuzu app. I have, like, so many different directories, because I messed up a couple of my installs, because the only way to learn is to just attempt. So, I definitely attempted. But we will see. And yeah, this will be a similar setup for anybody. Okay, so once you've found that, you're just going to click Finished. And you're going to confirm. And then here's how this will work. I believe from here, it's going to open up within Yuzu. So I, could, I th probably should close. Okay, maybe I can't close that. Yuzu is still updating. So it's just taking a while. Okay, I'm back. So, 
um, if you get this far into the setup process and as you're kind of looking at the client, you notice there's something weird. There is nothing here. Uh, it's just uh, a black screen. But you did see like a flicker. There appears to be some sort of bug like in the UI that is causing the program to pretty much just show the UI then go away. So like if I can try and showcase this here, um, what happens is it'll load like this and then you saw that little flicker and then nothing will happen. The developer is aware of this, the shed, and they aren't home right now at the time of this video, but they are uh, going to be working on fixing it. So if you've made it this far, uh, right now this is where we're at. This is extremely um, new. This literally, as I'm like talking about this, this happened today. Uh, so like there's obviously going to be some t wiggle room for you to kind of just wait it out until it actually is fully functional. And this is still like a beta. There was a closed beta that now is open to the public. And this is what it is, this program, Usul. So as this gets better, it's going to be insane to be able to match make with people. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, definitely, I'm going to be like covering any news that goes on with this. I literally put up this video without any sort of like scripting or editing or anything just because I know that it's easier to just get this information out to people quickly rather than um, like waiting months when I have time to like edit and come up with a script and everything because I just don't have that time in my life. So yeah, uh, for future videos, make sure that you subscribe to me so that you can actually stay up to date with this stuff. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to give the like, support the creator of this program, thank the devs of Yuzu, and uh, as well as the mods who run the Yuzu Cord. So they're a great place to get this stuff. And if you have questions, please leave comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching.